Am I right? Oh, here Am we I go. wrong? Somebody tell me what's going on, Twisted Cupid. Yes, that's right. There was a way. Twisted Cupid podcast, baby. Every Thursday night on the Twisted Cupid podcast. Yes. Yes, you heard the man. You heard Joel. This is the Twisted Cupid podcast. We are going to take ridiculous dating questions from the wild animals on Reddit and more importantly from you guys in the chat. So if you're listening on an audio only platform, we still love you. But damn it, get to YouTube, like and subscribe over there. Listen live, watch live, I should say, every single Thursday, 830 p.m. Eastern. Uh, give us your comments. Give us your questions right there in the chat. With me, as always, my amazing co-host, Amy Liska. Oh, hello, hello. Hello to you. Yes, yes. How's um, your day going? It's going fine. Uh, what did I do? I did nothing. I did take a 30-minute nap, and I was very proud of myself for that. There that you go. That's about it. What about you? you? What about you? How's your uh, day? I was working, so I only took a 20-minute nap uh, oh, while I was there. They're, they're on to me. Damn it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, but I'm excited about this podcast, man. Oh, uh, Joanne in the chat says hello. Hello, Joanne. Thank you for being yeah. here. Natalie in the chat says, hey, everyone. Hey, Natalie. Hello. Thanks Natalie. for being here. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I, I, I'm I, excited for the listeners. I'm excited for the chat. I'm excited for our two awesome guests, man. Uh, first up, he's a returning guest to the podcast, a hilarious stand-up comic, the host of of Character Debates, man, a podcast ah. that I was a third of and then 50% of, but now I'm still on it periodically, man. It's a fucking great podcast. People debate shit as, <laughs> as characters, right. and it's it, it's awesome. It's a unique premise. You should all check it out. Like and subscribe to that on all platforms. Fuck yeah. Uh, Michael Harrison, tell them where they can find you, buddy. Yeah, find me on Spotify. Find me on Apple, all that jazz. Find me on uh, Instagram, at Michael Harrison Comedian. Find me on uh, YouTube. Uh, I have a new special coming out. It'll yes. end up there. It's uh, Watch. it's gonna be Watch. amazing. Wait, wait. I I couldn't find you on Twitter. Really, Mike H Comedy on Twitter. Oh, it's I don't different. have the same it's handle. Uh, yeah, I know, man. I uh, There's Twitter some other was fucking like Michael oh. Harrison out there that we got to kill. Fuck. Is that what's going on? I mean, you know what's so funny is like Twitter is like sort of like a dead zone, anyways. So I was like, ah, leave it, whatever. No, it is, it is. But it, I just know you, and I know that you're on every platform available. Like I, I'm like, if I don't see you on Pinterest, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> this is weird. I was That's like, right. I, I, I felt. I'm like on Grinder. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, whatever. Right. He's slinging podcasts everywhere. Yeah, I don't everywhere. Give a shit. The Anything things he will do it. to get people to like and subscribe on Grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grinder only fans. Oh, whatever. yeah. <laughs> right, here's some mingle. What we got saying? a shout out from not Natalie in the chat. Hell yeah! Uh, yeah. About one of the best pods. Says, one of the best pods. I know, and now I'm on this inferior yes. pod. Yes. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> How does Jake fucking leave my pod to do this? That's, That's right. Bullshit. No, I was I was doing this the whole time. Time, man. I yeah, was, you know, but he yeah. never left. He That's was, fair, wait, but like, he, he was doing mine this. was the bigger stepping stone, <laughs> and then it he was. stays. He keeps this one for God's sakes. <laughs> Jesus, come on, man. We had Baby Hitler on an episode of my podcast. I know it almost got me baby fired from work. <laughs> <laughs> I work for a progressive talk channel. <laughs> I can't see anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just say career advancement. It should have been character debates. But okay. I'll come check out what you left me for. Yeah. Baby uh, Hitler's final solution was for me to lose my job. I know. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm just here to damage this podcast so you come back. That's the goal. <laughs> it's, it's, this is the beer hole push. Yeah. It's going to, basically. It's going to drive Can we do back. this whole episode and... Uh, in Hitler accents, let's do it. <laughs> I think this relationship sucks. I like. I like. It was more like a. That was like a fascist Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank God I'm not the character part of my podcast. <laughs> Fuck. You know who I think we ought to kill. <laughs> you know who's really been dri driving me nuts. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. But yeah, dude. Seriously though, uh, love character debates. You guys, you guys should check it out. Check too. it out. Go like and subscribe. It's on YouTube too. It's got its own channel. So yes. 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 Go like and subscribe. Character debates. Exactly. And follow our second guest as well, man. He is another hilarious stand-up comic. He is a first-time guest of the podcast. The one, the only, Abiola Adetaji. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank um, you for but, having me. Before you say anything, Abiola made us brownies. So he is forever yes. my favorite comedian Dude. that has ever been on this podcast oh, right thank now. You, Amy. And they're delicious. They don't have weed in the mo, so no, whatever. No, but he made... <laughs> I could top those. Listen, he made a pregnant woman brownies, and I love him. Okay? <laughs> <I'm> still win. <winning. laughs> Good call. 
The last guy that brought brownies, bro. Sorry. The last guy that brought brownies to this podcast it had fentanyl in it. <laughs> <laughs> It was a really good time for a couple of us. Second which, uh, best guest of all time. Yeah. Well, next <laughs> time I'll have to bring fentanyl after you're pregnant, though. <laughs> right? So, I'd love to hear the advice of someone on fentanyl, uh, just for relationships. That would be good. <laughs> so, Abby, Willie, where can they find you? What, what are you up yes, to? Yes. What oh, do you... where can they find you? Just yeah. uh, not much. Just hosting an open mic. Uh, check Instagram, Shot of Ranch. That is my handle. Um, Shot of Ranch. Shot of Ranch. It's an Eric like Andre it. reference. Oh, um, yeah. I oh. used to do the, uh, ranch, the, the ranch. Yeah. Chugging yeah. the Ranch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I made that my handle before I even started doing stand up. That's and then what I, I get. Was when I was do- reading your it. handle, I thought it was uh, Chateau France. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shot of Ranch. No, way less fancy. Way yeah, less facts. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. And then when, <laughs> the, when I was trying to find you on Twitter, mm-hmm. as someone, uh, there was a couple handles of Shot of Ranch. And I'm mm-hmm. like, what is this? I don't get this uh, joke. <laughs> Shadow of France. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not on Twitter slash X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's getting so much better now that Elon took over. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh, God. <laughs> Baby Hitler's definitely welcome on X. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. In fact, full grown Hitler's welcome on X. Bloody million Everybody. followers already. <laughs> <laughs> you should rename your podcast Baby Hitler <laughs> and just do it live on X. It would fucking be great, you know? Forget Don Lemon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. Don Elon, would be would, Elon would show up going, oh, yeah, I didn't like Don Lemon. I, mean, I like uh, baby, baby Hitler. Baby Hitler has. Speed. I don't like all the different. He may be extra pouty face, Don Lemon. Baby Hitler I don't think, makes me smile. I don't mm. think I've ever done an episode of this podcast where I, uh, Nazi reference hasn't been brought up. This is uh, oh, yeah. We are three for three now for uh-huh. me. So it's, it's good. Yeah. I mean, last we're time consistent. We, we were just goose stepping around the room for like 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes. It was fucking wild. It was, uh, you missed it. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but without further ado, you guys ready to take your first questions from the Wild Animals Woo! on Reddit? Yes, sir. All right. First question on the Twisted Cubit Podcast. If you guys got questions to write in, write them to Podcast at gmail.com. Or even better, like and subscribe on YouTube and ask it live right there in the chat. We're live every single Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Give us your comments. Give us your questions live. We're going to take our first one from the Wild Animals on Reddit. All right, so the theme of this podcast um, is open and honest question mark because I felt like a lot of these questions, people were just a little bit too honest with what they were doing, you know? And you can't be too honest for Reddit. How dare you? Yeah, I, know. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so that's the theme. Um, all right, first question. I use my wife's hall passes that she gave me. Dun, dun, dun. Sweet. There we go. Got you. All right. What they're there for. He was only supposed to use the bathroom with that pass. Now he's out there fucking. He's out there fucking during recess. <laughs> hall, man, halls get a good uh, good place. I've never yeah. done it in a hall before. No, me neither. Why me neither. is it a hall pass? Why not like a something else pass? Yeah, right? yeah, like a like a behind the bleachers pass. Yeah, that's yeah. where. Yeah, that's, <laughs> hey, that, that's uh-huh. relatable. The stall at the end of the bathroom pass. <laughs> that's the pass you want. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's because you the don't fun get a happens. pass to go to the end of the bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I love. I think I think everyone read the question before I heard it. That's great. Everyone is looking at this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm the last person literally to know what this question's going to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm in a tough situation right now. My wife had a six-month affair in the seventh year of our marriage and got caught. It was shocking and devastating, this thing, obviously. She offered me one hall pass for each month of her affair. So technically, That's hilarious. So technically, he gets six hall passes. Okay. I hope she made them out of little cardboard thing, <laughs> yeah, little construction yeah, paper. Right. I hope. I hope she put hearts and crafts. In it. She got the Elmer's glue out to make these. <laughs> All right. Offered one hall pass uh, for each month of the affair. It took years of marriage counseling to get back where we are previously. I used the hall passes of my wife gave me um, from for at the beginning of the reconciliation. I slept. Three times, each with two different people. That means he slept with one woman twice. <laughs> Wait uh, a second now. <laughs> There's math in this the question. Should, I think that should count as one hall pass. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just because you rewalk the hall doesn't yeah, mean anything, yeah. right? It's the same hall. I've been right. down this tunnel. Yeah. Each, fair, with two different, <laughs> each with two different women uh, with my wife not knowing. Um <laughs> She went, Ooh, sneaking passes in. Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when she gave me the passes, she put several rules. 
So these were her rules that she's like, okay, you can have these hall passes, but these are the rules. She should not know when I have used the hall pa pass unless she asks. <laughs> I should answer her questions honestly and in detail if she asks any questions. Protection is a must and no emotional connection. I was like, uh, did these rules apply to when you had a six yeah. month yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember all the fine print when you were banging Gary yeah, behind the bleachers. Yeah, 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 Come yeah, on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. <laughs> and not only that, she probably lied anyways. Yeah. Right? She said six, but you're like, I'm sure, or the month. Right? Yeah. She just did it for full months, seven months. One yeah. per month is yeah. the hall pass? No. Yeah. So she got that several times no, in the month. So it's been, no, it's six, six months. Yeah. Of the affair in the seventh year that they were married. This is uh, a terrible okay. negotiation. And, and he's only ever used it three times, twice with one of the same girls. Ooh. So he hasn't even used all his hall passes yet. But the question goes Wait, on. Is, there's a question? I thought yeah. this was bragging. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought we were just going to like high five this guy. Uh huh. You should uh, get a hall pass and an oats pass. <laughs> fuck yeah, what buddy. I'm on your side. Yes. Okay. I obeyed all these rules, and I'm going to be very honest here. It helped me subside the resentment I had towards her. That is just how getting even feels, I guess. Not that it is a great thing, but but it's the fact. It has been five years since everything, and we are doing great. Last week, she decided to ask me about the hall passes out of nowhere. I was honest with her and she uh, when she asked. I answered every question she asked. Maybe I shouldn't have been honest thinking of it now. She does not even look at me in my eyes now and is depressed all of a sudden. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I know this calls for another marriage counseling for us and maybe individual counseling too. Ugh. I did not even remember the Ugh. hall passes and or the woman's before she asked us, but now I feel like shit. Was I the asshole? Yeah. Um, he, he shouldn't. He shouldn't oh. have shown her the video. I think that was the problem. <laughs> yeah, no. Right. Bro. You want to know? Check his out. I taped it. Ah. I mean, honesty is one thing. You you asked for a high five. I mean, right? this is crazy. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I wonder what his approach was. Treat it like a guy friend. All right. Yeah. So I had her over his table. All right. Oh. She was like you, but younger and hotter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jo jo she wore the French maid outfit. Can you believe that, bitch? <laughs> and she fit into it real well. Yeah. <laughs> Joel on YouTube just said, uh, were the hall passes given out in actual months or like months like dog years? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. To, to our point that we were talking about earlier, this guy's a terrible negotiator because because I would wager that each of these six months, she fucked this guy Wait, more is there than hall, once in a month. Is there hall pass managers? Like, if you're a bad negotiator, can you get a manager on it and be like, I, yeah. I represent my client. I think we need And to be, I think yes. that if it's the same person, that shouldn't <laughs> catch for other uh, hall passes, right? Dude, I will go full Account. on. Dustin Hoffman in in in, in uh, w w what was that movie Dog Day Afternoon or whatever? Sure. I mean, you know the whole this whole hall pass is out of order. I'm going uh, full Tom Cruise at the end of A Few Good Men. I will passionately argue for this man to get to fuck way more than six times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Way I'm more lost than six a Dog Day Afternoon now. Wait. Wait what, what happened there? That they, was the one. Uh, that was the where his gay friend in the heist, right? Where yeah. I'm thinking of a different the, movie. I'm thinking wait, before. Uh, I wait, was wait, thinking before we get Injustice into a whole movie. I was thinking of Justice movie, for All with Al Pacino. Movie thing. I want to have is, uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you right. think, Abiola? Well, I just think this chick kind of sucks. Like, okay, if you're going to be like, yeah. all right. Um, I bet she does suck. Uh, yeah, she probably yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. With and multiple he get, dudes. He should also get hall passes for sucks offs. Too. Yeah, yeah. I don't care Shame what Bill Clinton says about that. Because yeah, yeah, it's like, if you're going to be, yeah. be like, okay, you can do what I did. But like, let me put out all these rules so I don't have to feel the emotional pain. It's like, wait, the pain is why what you did sucked. So for you to just be like, okay, you could cheat on me, but I can't know about it, and and well, it's just like, wait, so no, like I'll just right. do yeah. it and do whatever I want. Yeah. Like you did whatever you wanted, and yeah. Like, I love that she is pissed off at him after following the exact rules that she gave him. Yeah, you know. Like, I, just, I don't know why. She I cheated. don't know why he wants her to look him in the eyes. I'm creeped up by that. Right. I'm like, does yeah. it feel better that she looks down when you walk oh, by her? Yeah. Isn't that the thing that, of like, yeah, point. I fucking am king. That's yeah. Don't make eye contact with me. That would be half the point. Yeah. If, if, if you can't shame a woman with your hall pass uses, what's then the what's point of half? I don't you know get what it. Mean? Yeah, right. Yeah. Why even use the hall pass? Feel passes? it. Feel well, it. Like, when she asks you, why don't you just be like, nope, still got all six. Why yeah. don't you just, you know what I mean? If, yeah. if, if yeah, you really seriously. don't, if you want to fuck but not hurt her feelings, just lie and say that 
You still have all six hus- Take those six hall passes into the senior citizen home and then use them, yeah, on, her- yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, use them on her deathbed. I think we got this wrong. This isn't a hall pass issue. This is an eye contact issue. He really misses eye contact. <laughs> yeah. And I think we have to focus on the problem here is that for some reason she must have nice eyes. And he's like, why is girl not showing me her eyes? This is what I want. I'm just disappointed right. in him in general. First yes. of all, he didn't use all of his hall passes. He still has at least three more yeah, left. I'm disappointed One of in them, him, too. He, I, I think she used... should tattoo eyes on the back of her head. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. But... Yeah, he should just one of them. He get used... her eye tattoo right, right on the That's forehead, right. so when she doesn't look yeah. down, it's still yeah. sort of there. Because if she loved he him, slept she'd do with it. the same girl twice, and then he considered that one of his hall passes. I'd be like, no, 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 that's still one. Yeah, because yeah, you <laughs> because tell I'm her. sure you didn't sleep with this guy for six months only once. Right. Six only times. Once a month. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. So, that's all I was putting out there. So then, then on top of that, what I love at the very end of this, after she's not looking at him in his eyes he's like he's like oh now i know we have to go back to counseling again and uh maybe individual counseling i'm like dude why don't you just like i don't know batter her (laughs) yeah Yeah, i mean (laughs) rarely ever do pregnant women uh, advise dudes to beat up their wives but this is a very special situation this is how every question on the show ends (laughs) <laughs> Beat up the wife, right? Yeah. Isn't that how we solve every relationship query? I think if a if a if a pregnant female podcast host tells you to hit your wife, I'm not saying it should be legal, but it should be like a fifty dollar fine at that point. You know? <laughs> it's, it's a lesser punishment. She's very yeah. the fact that he feels sad or bad at all, and not even like <laughs> mad. Like yeah. I would be so mad that oh, yeah. like that. Okay, so now you're asking me the questions five years later, and she still can't handle it. But it's just like I'm, I don't know. And and then I'm now he's you know feeling guilty for something that he was told to do. Oh, Why? Yeah. But what about swinger clubs? Can't they settle that out there? Right. That's like you might as well. Why right. hall pass? Let's go to a balcony pass or something. Yeah. Is there yeah. is there right. another floor above hall pass? Is yeah. there like another thing? Because whatever it is, it should be a swingers club where they just go there and they could bang and then make eye contact yeah. while banging. You yeah, know, it's just and like, like cut yeah, class. Yeah. He there. should get he should get six penthouse passes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the move. Exactly. <laughs> but would that be the escalation that maybe they should enjoy some sort of like like uh, banging with every you know? I mean, maybe if he's got to get even. But then again, well, it sounds like she wants to sort of get even. Like yeah. she's gonna go through the resentment, and then she's gonna want something, right? Yeah. So yeah. should it be like? But then again, tit for tat. I feel like if they're gonna just be even, then he's no, getting even right now. No, she's bringing this up five years later because yeah. she met another guy and she wants to fuck him. Right. That's the point. Oh, okay. You I missed know? that part. I no, that part. I mean, no, the, it wasn't written down. I'm just oh. yeah. That's what I lines. was assuming too. Okay. Actually, to be yeah. fair, right? Is like she's got ideas. Now she's trying to find a reason to like get mad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. You don't need. To go to individual counseling, bro. We got you. Yeah, that's a you waste should of be money. mad at her. Like. And, I, I like that they went to marriage counseling, and then he's talking about this hall pass stuff. Did the marriage counselor come up with the hall pass idea? Yeah, was right. that it? Was a therapist sitting there with the with the leather elbow patches on his blazer, and they're sitting on that leather couch? He's like, you know what I ought to do? What I would do? I think hall it's pass. a Gen Z you know, like, counselor. Crazy. Like that's a Gen Z tactic yeah. of like, yo, just like cuck. Yeah. Just go in the corner and let this woman get it, right? I think, yeah, it, it definitely does feel like... Are you sure this was a licensed therapist? Yeah, like, yeah. Was, was this just advice, some? Bro. Yeah, was was this a sophomore in college? This who's is a cool going, therapist. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, I got my degree online. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, never you know what'll fix this problem? Sex. Yeah, yeah with everything. <laughs> what if you fucked like a lot of people? <laughs> yeah, why? Well, we try that. Psychologically speaking, though, bro. Psychologically speaking, yeah. I think that's the best idea for I'm you. I'm free on Thursday. Like, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ooh, Natalie. Natalie on YouTube just said maybe he is purposely holding on to the other hall passes waiting for a rainy day. <laughs> it, did he it, Did he have the X amount of times he had to cash it in? No, nope, he can use them whenever he wants. Good. Whenever oh, yeah. he wants. So. Oh, yeah. In fact, dude. That would have been a good time to bring it up then when she's like feeling neglected. Like, yo, I, <laughs> you act like that again. Guess who's getting yeah. it? Uh-huh. Look him, another girl. Yeah. Right. I got me three hall passes. Yeah. Uh, and there's okay. a whole lot of hallways yeah, in this I'll in this see some more fucking eye contact. Or I tell you, I'm blasting another chick. Yeah. You'll yeah. see. Yeah, nothing Nothing makes me want to burn a hall pass like that <laughs> sour puss on your face. <laughs> exactly. Joe just said I can't participate tonight because the theme is if I was open and honest, I still would be married. I still wouldn't be married. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kidding. Uh, oh no, your internet isn't functioning. He is. Oh, oh okay. shit. 
Okay, um, 30th word, I'm lucky. Okay, cool. So he he, he hears every 30th word. Oh, nice, so. nice. Yeah, this will right. be a weird episode for him. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. weird episode. We've uh, said Hitler. Yeah, I was going to say, the baby Hitler stuff out of context is weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It, sounds, it just sounds like we liked Hitler's really early work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He was um, great at making macaroni noodle, uh, you know, uh, uh, little, what, what do they call those, collages. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, After that, he turned into a bit of a jerk. Yeah, exactly. That's how it starts. It though. really does. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I guess uh, that's it. What, what, I don't know, even know. Well, no, I, he just needs to understand that, like, he should be upset and that this whole thing seems to be yeah. becoming more, like, transactional than, like... A relationship, like I don't know, like you should like think. Well, about he admitted that. after sleeping with other people, he did actually feel better. And I'm like, well, why don't you just keep going? You yeah, know? like yeah. what? Why are you with? Like, I don't know. All right, I mean, my best advice that I can give this guy, I, well, the best advice would be to like leave her. This sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. But uh, if you're gonna stay with her, I think you deserve to really twist that knife a bit because she's being a bit of a dick about a situation that she created and then fucking whittled you down she negotiated you down to six times when she was fucking a guy for half a year right <laughs> yeah. you're a terrible negotiator so what i say you do is a just start fucking and lying and use use hall passes but don't cop to them i you should do that but but uh, you should definitely burn another hall pass in a few months, but don't ever burn all your hall passes. I like you having just a couple of those That's there. That's right, dangle it. I don't mm-hmm. know if this is true, but it sounded cool on a movie I, I, I watched once. Yeah, it was uh, a Dog Day Afternoon. Uh, yeah, it was one of those. It was probably but, that one. <laughs> I think on the movie Dog Day Afternoon, <laughs> yeah, right. a guy said that in communist China, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, when they would sentence people to death, they would put them in prisons <laughs> where randomly... Uh, guys would come up behind them and shoot them in the head. So they <laughs> yeah. they just never knew the moment they could be executed. So they would Are just walk serious? around. It's my favorite always part of the movie. Wondering, yeah, yeah, Oh, my yeah. God. I would puke every other second. It was, well, knowing. so, sir, this is your communist China execution story from the movie Dog Day Afternoon. Uh, that's what these hall passes are. You just always keep one or two of them. So every time you go to work, She's just wondering, is he going to use a hall pass? She's like a like a like a Chinese dissident wandering around wondering is this going to be the day? Yeah, there you go, man. Free marriage counseling yes. from people who are probably more qualified than the guy you've been going to. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn right. Well, Joanne says um, the marriage counselor must have said as long as the cheating is even, it's totally healthy relationship. Right. But yep. she does have a good question. Do these women have to sleep that he sleeps with have to sign off on the on each hall's pass? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I like the idea. Put your, of, put your pussy lip stamp right here. Yeah, show the report yeah. card. Hey? <laughs> I like the idea of some hooker leaving. Like, hey, before you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This I is know I'm only wife. paying hourly. This, this ain't gonna is, take long. Can you just sign is, off? Sign right underneath the the, the, the glued piece. My of wife's macaroni. making me do this. Uh, if, uh, sign that. If I don't get your signature, I have to fuck another. In fact, wait, don't sign it. Uh, <laughs> sign it. Joel said, if the hall passes physically exist, I'd take my ass to the office depot and get copies. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of her just kind of licking the corner, hold on to like, this is counterfeit hall pass. What kind of shit are you trying to pull? This ain't a real hall pass. What are you doing? Empty out your socks, There's yeah, 19 she starts, hall passes. She starts like laminating them and like writing something on them. So it's just like, I know that's the fucking different hall pass. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hope nice. they take. A, I hope she takes counterfeit hall passes to divorce court. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her attorney says, like, "Your Honor, I would <laughs> like to a, a exhibit a a shoebox full of counterfeit hall passes." <laughs> <laughs> Let the jury witness. Can, that would be a cool fucking divorce, right? Yeah. Under reasons, uh-huh. a fucking counterfeit. I'll pass. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Don't call me stupid. Yeah. Right. Dude. I mean, my whole thing for this is I'm just upset that he's just that he is taking guilt about any of this. Yeah, like, man. I just want, yeah, I want him to get mad. I want him to get mad at her, and that be it. I don't know. Yeah. I yet again thought this was all bragging. I didn't feel any <laughs> guilt in any of this. Like, man, yeah. I fucking hurt this chick, eh? And I didn't even use them all. Well, no, it's, it's, he's not the bad guy. I mean, he he kind of deserves to hurt her a little bit. You know what I mean? Like she cheated on him, and then she's being a dick. So I, he if anything, he's being too much of a softy, feeling bad about this. That's the purpose of the hall passes. Is just, just kind of rubbing it in a bit. Yeah, right. Five years, of course. Yeah. Where'd yeah. that come from? Out of nowhere. No, they were seven years. 
together. Yeah, but I thought you said five years later. Oh, yeah, five years later after right? that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 So yeah. five years. So it's like yeah. five years. She so. took her sweet-ass time to make a deal out of this. It's like, yo, lady. Oh, I'm, yeah. So they've been <laughs> married seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years already. Right? And all this stuff is going on. And he's yes, been miserable for 11 and a half of those years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, leave, bro. Come on. I mean, it is good to always have hall passes to think about. Like, yeah, yeah if I have a really rainy day. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Just like a condemned Chinese dissident. Yeah. Waiting to die, never oh. knowing when the bullet will strike the back of their head. <laughs> that she will be sitting there wondering when the next hall pass will get signed off on. Dun, By dun, the way, dun. they kind of do that in Japan, too. Like, really? When you're on death row, like you're not told the day you're gonna die. Jesus no, and, and then really? like that morning, they're just like, "Yo, what's up, bro?" It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just time like to head out. Yoshi got good news and bad news. Yeah. <laughs> good news is, is you'll never have to eat a shitty prison Salisbury steak again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The bad news is you won't be eating anything. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Mario's not gonna save I mean, you. <laughs> do they do that just so they can't? Oh, I mean, I don't know their laws. Like, because usually, if you get a death sentence, we know how many how long you have until so you can get your case proven again or something like well, that. Well, no, like a lot of countries, when they give you the death penalty, it's not like America where it's like, well, you're on death row and then there's appeals and stuff like that. It's like a, you get the death penalty on a Wednesday and they fucking cap your ass on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, like, I think they do wait, wait, wait. So, so you, if he went you know? to prison, how yeah. does the hall pass thing work if he gets hammered by uh, an inmate? He's oh, like, yeah. that was that guy's hall pass. I didn't take any joy yeah. in that. If anything, I should earn extra hall passes. Yeah, Look, I, uh, I, I mean, I didn't want that to happen. I had the Aryan Brotherhood's tattoo branded <laughs> yeah, on me yeah, exactly. against my will. <laughs> I, have a, just... I, have a, I have a Nazi tramp stamp <laughs> that was fucking burned into me with a, with a pen. This wasn't my idea. Look at this. I should get way more hall passes for this. Yeah, exactly. Hey. All right. <laughs> All I, because of those counterfeit pr- <laughs> passes that got me to prison in the first place. I didn't know that hall passes technically counted as currency. I didn't, and they didn't realize the song, it was that illegal penalty. that I could go to jail for <laughs> illegal hall passes. 10 to 15 <laughs> years. Jesus. Fuck. Uh, if we have to come up with uh, endings to this, I say just like play some Ed Sheeran and dance together yeah. Yeah. and you'll fall in love again. Yeah. Ed Sheeran go. solves everything. Aww. There you go. Played perfect. Yeah. Or, should, be by, or go on your own, listen to some Creed for a little bit. There we go. You know, Creed. Feel. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Creed wrote a good one about hall passes. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> yeah a big fan of hall passes. My baby gave me a hall pass. Yeah, yeah. it's a, I, I love I Well, love that's what opened. <laughs> I saw my hall pass. <laughs> I made a counterfeit hall pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm ready for the next question. All right. Next <laughs> question on the Twisted Cuba podcast. People, if you've got questions to write in, Stop what you're doing right now and write them to Twisted Cuban Podcast at gmail.com. Or even better, give them to us live right there in the chat every single Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. We're going to take our next question from the wild animals on Reddit. All right, next question. Danced with my high school ex at a wedding. All right, so my wife, 28-year-old female, and I, a 29-year-old male, have been married for two years now. I love my wife. We have a great relationship. Last year, my wife and I went, were invited to her best friend's wedding. During one of the dances, a random guy, guy, good looking guy, asked my wife to dance. My wife appeared flustered when he asked her. She looked over at me and I told her to go ahead. Why not? We were all having fun. There's no harm in my wife's having too much fun. It wouldn't have hurt me, except it did hurt me initially. I'm not that type to be normally bothered by such trivial matters, but in this instance, it did, and I tried not to, you know, be outwardly showing my feelings. But my wife and this guy were clearly enjoying themselves. I could see my wife. Your wife danced with other dudes, you fucking (laughs) weirdo. What the fuck, bro? I could see my wife. Yeah, like was. I could see my wife was still flustered, and um. And was so flustered when they were dancing. He and never I've never considered th- the possibility that might make him jealous. <laughs> never. He was like, yeah, that's what you do. Aw. I'm angrier <laughs> at him than the last guy already. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Dude. And I've never seen her blush this month in a long time. Well, anyways, over the following days, my wife sensed that I was not myself, and she apologized for the incident. I told her that she had nothing to apologize for, and that was the end of that. But there's more to this story. Ooh. Well, fast forward a year, and my wife and I were now invited to my best friend's wedding. 
The wedding was a blast. I caught up with all my high school friends, including my ex from high school. I'm not going to lie. She looks stunning. During the dances, I asked my wife if I could dance with my ex, and she gave me the go-ahead. Well, I asked my oh, ex. Oh, pass. I, you know, asked, I, was gonna say that. <laughs> I asked my ex for a dance. She agreed. She complimented me on all my physical features, which made me feel things. Ah! <laughs> I complimented her, too. Dude, this guy just guys. doesn't know emotions. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's weird. 12. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Woman said I look good. Oh. Something happened in my <laughs> bridge. <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> what is this tingling sensation? Uh, okay, I just became human yesterday. You're I was, right. a, yeah. I was a doll the day before. This is <laughs> Peter Parker, apparently. Spider-Man is writing this question. Now, that Geppetto made me a real boy, I get boners sometimes yeah. when I dance. <laughs> there was a lot of close physical contact, especially during the slow dances, mm. which was probably inappropriate, but at the moment, I was justified uh, justifying it initially of my wife's dance last year. Mm. Well, we danced for quite some time, and I finally called it off when it went too overboard. My ex Got wanted to continue titty. on, but Those I somehow found restraint yeah. to stop it. But that, but by that time, the damage had been done and my wife wanted to go home. We left home early and my wife straight up cried when she, when she reached home. This hurt me a lot and I apologized. She told me that I had no reason to apologize, but I told her I did because I did, what I did was completely inappropriate. I've been making it up for her for the past week by taking her out out on dates. She cried some days, but I comforted her. I think we're finally back to normal now. Was I an asshole for dancing with my high school ex at the wedding? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I want to kill this guy. Wait, I really? hate him. <laughs> I just she started though. I, I mean, I don't. I don't think there was much wrong. I just don't like him. Yeah, yeah no. I'm not listening He's to a guy unlikable. I never want to hang out with. No, yeah. Yeah, everything true. he wrote, true. I was like, "What a dork! So, We're not yeah. gonna be cool no, together." I'm sorry. Okay, she <laughs> danced. A, an attractive guy asked her to dance last year. Yeah. They danced one time. She got a little like f like flustered, and he got jealous by it. After she was like, "Can I dance with him?" And he Dude, said, right. yes. That's to me. However, he, he, he should have just said no. Why I'm that, so mad? No. Why I'm so mad is that she probably let him dance with their ex because of last year. But then they did. She, he said multiple slow dances. How long were you dancing right. with your ex? Yeah. And also, why did this wife not, like, I would have already barged onto the dance floor and be like, what the fuck are right. you doing? Like, yeah, just get, <laughs> neither one of them is good with with uh, confrontation or just just conveying emotions yeah. but I also, or, or I, any of that. I don't know what flustered means, right? That's such a vague term in general. So it's or, like right. flustered because you know what you could be flustered from? Is a guy just asking you period anything and you're uncomfortable with dancing or maybe she's right. just like, oh, I'm not used to this, blah. But he's reading it as I'm insecure that she was flustered. Yeah. And it's like, well, I don't even know what that means. Like, well, that's I don't true. Know what, I guess like, the it's guy, not descriptive at all. It's, it's weird to reject somebody when you're not expect, like when, when you've been in a relationship. I would be for flustered while. rejecting yeah. someone. Yeah. That's if another was, reason yeah. to be flustered. Yeah. Right? If I was if I was at a at a at a wedding or wherever he was at, yeah. if I was there with my wife and just some rando lady came to me and she wanted to dance, I'd be like, wait, what what? What? Like I wouldn't do it because I'm not yeah. a moron, but I yeah, I would Well that's I would have a weird uh, I'd be looking for the words to tell her no politely. You know, yeah, but I don't also, be a dick. Jo so Joanne asked a good question. He said, uh, were they grinding? He said that they were dancing inappropriate. That's another thing too. Like if you're gonna dance, you better just be doing like the twist yeah. and shout, like yeah, apart that's from some each other. Shit. You know, yeah, yeah, like why and if if you're grinding and doing slow dances, I'm sorry, if you have two dances, I'm pissed okay <laughs> in the immortal in the immortal words but i of the... mean he let the animal out right yeah. that animal yeah. instinct came in and all of a sudden they're grinding and feeling right. it you yeah. can't control the animal I mean, I instinct i don't know right? if they're grinding right? but he said that they yeah. were pretty yeah he's all animal right so we know this yeah we yeah but i mean <laughs> there look it, there ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind i believe gandhi said that Wait, no, no. So that was Gandhi's, R. Kelly. That was R. Kelly. Oh, yeah. I mix those guys up a lot. It was uh, similar too. I, I, think it was I mixed them yeah, up the yeah, other yeah, day. No, that, was, that was Gandhi. Yeah, that was yeah, Gandhi. yeah. When I was like, Gandhi yeah. peed on someone. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but also, <laughs> like, he, he did sleep with his like 15 year old niece. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Gandhi really? and R. Kelly yeah. have more similarities. Really? That was not a good, question. Uh, over. Yeah, yeah. we're on Gandhi now. Yeah, well, okay. Gandhi's a fucking. Wait, Gandhi slept with his 15 year old. Yeah, but Gandhi slept with, but didn't have sex. I guess the story was. 
was he? But would, when they um, were dancing together, Gandhi and that niece, <laughs> right. like you didn't see it, right? She was flustered. He was Way flustered. Flustered. <laughs> it was, uh, flustered is the beginning. I mean, yeah, you you thought it was awkward when he had to starve himself. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, uh, when when his sister walked in with yeah. him and his fifteen year old niece, I he, mean, was, he asked him. Flustered. He was, he, he so was thirsty he in do, a different way. No, in that yeah. one. Mm-hmm. He looked at Indira Gandhi and she gave him the nod to ah. go ahead. And, uh, and then she was so, sad yeah. for no yeah. reason. And he's like, like, now I have to give her a hall I pass. This is bullshit. My niece, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. No, S- six I'm, hall passes. The British didn't even make it. I mean, I'm definitely one of those people. If you did this not only in front of your wife, but in front of everyone, what are you going to do behind my back? You know? Yeah, right. So it's yeah. like, I mean, I know that they're like, oh, we're just innocently dancing, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, Obviously, you knew that it wasn't innocent if you were apologizing too. What? And I, I'm sorry if you're saying, "Yeah, you can dance with your ex." That, I'm thinking one dance, you know, and right. it better be like a two minute song. Yeah, just a little. Deep, 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 but she deep, opened deep, Pandora's deep, deep. box by even like asking him in the first place. Uh, right. Like she yeah. should have just been like, "No, I'm married. We're at a wedding." Thank right. You. Like, yeah. yeah. She should have just been like, "Look, I didn't want to dance with the guy the first time." It, it it caused us a lot of problems. Let's just drop it. Yeah, you know? they both fucked up like three times. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, they're, I never, they're both morons. They're yes. perfect for each other. They're the yeah. equal Correct. amount of dumb and in the same way. Yeah. They're gonna have a kid that that doesn't know how to convey his emotions either. I mean, nah, it's, man, it's gonna be ridiculous. I think this could only be settled with hall passes. <laughs> I think that is <laughs> absolutely uh-huh. how you settle this scenario. Is they need hall passes? That's right. Just a so whole blind room. It makes the sense. Last, uh, question askers. And they will hook you up with some hall passes. Over. Yeah, I, yeah. Get some hall passes. Get that X. And get but them. laminate oh, yeah. them. Laminate them. Right. Screw hall guy. passes. They should go full on recess, man. Yeah. I'm talking like this. like uh, like the the Amish have the rum springer. <laughs> just nine months where you just go fucking hog wild, <laughs> like heathen English. <laughs> no, I I also got when reading it, I just didn't like this guy just because of his tone and just like I would hate oh, having yeah, a conversation a with sure. him. Also, yeah, he but wrote like a novel. Flustered still bothers me. That's a word. If a guy ever uses flustered, I don't know if I'd like him. Yeah, well, I, also, I think no. that's a that's a red flag. That's a weird word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I also thought it was funny how he's like, "Well, I think I made it up to her. I took her on multiple dates this week." And I'm like, "You <laughs> no, go go shut the fuck up." But I think <laughs> she probably milked it with some of that crying. I'm like, oh, "Yeah, yeah I better cry get another date." Tears. You know, I yeah. could really do this. Hey. Um, no, but uh-huh. also I we get to go on a gondola. I don't have to watch Dune too. We get to do things that I like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know this. It, I I feel like they're almost right for each other. Like I don't really say that that much. I'm usually like get a divorce, but they both kind of dealt with everything inappropriately. Yeah, yeah. they uh, both dealt with the same thing in the same stupid way. Either one of them could have just said no. Like yeah. just, just be like, nah, nah. It makes me uncomfortable. But I feel like That's she's the mature thing to do. But I feel like she's used to him being like overly like simpy, for lack of a yeah. better term. Yeah. And she's just like using that against him. Like you're not that sad. You're not actually because if he's even asking us, like, oh my god, what can I do to make her feel happy when she essentially like started this in the first place? <laughs> it's like she's used to him being that dumb normally, and so she's yeah. just like, word, let me just abuse him. Ooh, and Natalie cried. actually said something good. She's like, clearly there is a much deeper issues in their relationship. The fact that either of them accepted a dance from their ex is crazy to me. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Well, that's oh, nuts. I don't. Okay, so the first time it was just a random guy that Correct. he kept saying was hot. But I feel like this guy is such a douchebag. I bet you the only reason why she looked at him was probably like, that's my cousin Larry. Just doesn't really get social cues, and this entire time he's just like, oh, she was just dating, you know, dancing with this hot guy. Yeah, you know? yeah, he was hot. That's his problem. And then she's like, I don't know how to tell him no because he yeah, that, really... that's a difference. Hey, it's like I'm hurt because she that guy's hot, and then she's hurt because I had a boner while I was dancing <laughs> right. and slapping the girl's ass when we were. Yeah. <laughs> and it's my ex. Like that to me is it's such yeah. a different yeah. thing. And an ex. ex. Yeah. Right. This is, yeah. This is supposedly just a random guy that was really attracted to. Like, wait, wait, dance. who would you right. trust more? A woman who gets asked on a dance and is flustered, or a guy who gets asked by his ex and goes, let's do this? No. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. He's confident. No, no, he's no, not no, flustered no, at all. He's just no. sitting there. This is like, the same thing. I that, could yeah. do this. Uh-huh. No, he's wrong. Am I okay? No, no you're Good. wrong. All right, let's do this. He asked, he went out of his way and asked his ex. So he told his oh. wife, he goes, oh, wow. do you Even mind worse. if I ask my ex if I can dance with her? And she said, and her, the wife said, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. he and went I'm in like, full so, on revenge and then dance the, mode. And then the ex accepted it. 
And so, yeah. and then the ex was just like dance. Then they got too inappropriate. So he went out of his way to dance with his ex. And I was like, yeah, and that's where I would have been like, yeah, yeah. these know? people both suck in like a very similar way. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm like, saying. Like, that's why I think they're kind of it, perfect. In it. This is like two wrongs making they're like right. a match made in hell. It's, it's yeah. Like, good for them. You're, you're both socially awkward demons and I'm glad that you found each other. <laughs> yeah. You guys should be on a reality TV show. I love yeah. it. I want to yeah. see this. <laughs> I mean, the last Make thing it happen. I, I would say break up because it's a terrible relationship. However, since I feel they're the same brand of demon, uh, uh, they could yeah. both break up and then find a normal human and ruin their life. So yeah. I think they should stay or, together or continue they, ruining mm-hmm. each other's lives and, and, and sort of your quarantine. Right, because we need more questions on this podcast. Yes. So we need you to stay together, <laughs> write more questions like this. Keep uh, fucking each other's lives up. No, they should each will. date right. the person from the last um, fucking question. Oh, like yeah? the dude should date the chick, uh-huh. and then the chick should date the dude. Oh yeah, and then like that would be like perfect. They sh- and and they all swap four different hall passes. Yeah, they all and, do and the, the hall, hall pass. And, and it's like a whole little hall pass mini mm-hmm. economy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> I I I'm I'm just speechless because I I don't know if my husband tried to do that. Are you flustered? Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah. I'm flustered at them. I'm so yeah, this definitely flustered. Me flustered. I'm flustered. flustered right they there. just walked yeah. right into this situation. They're like, oh, <laughs> uh-huh. how about we just create a fight for us that we're going to talk about forever now? Right. It's yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, usually when, you, when couples get in fights, you don't even know how it even happened. But they're like, you know what? You know what our relationship needs? A little bit of maybe cheating. Uh, <laughs> you know? Right. It's like, well, I mean, you know what's funny, too, is like it took them a year, and it's probably because... Uh, uh, no one was interested in him, you know. And it took him finally this opportunity to be like, "Oh, my ex would probably do it. I, yeah. I could probably fucking make her jealous off this." You yeah, know? It's, so, it's sure, that's a good point. That's probably because they keep. It. He huh? couldn't find a stranger because most women won't don't want anything to do with him. Yeah, so right. He's like finally so an one ex that is familiar, an ex them. might actually say yes because yeah. they're familiar, so they already feel the safety because he went through the thing, right? Yeah. It's like from her point of view, she might not have even been, and then like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, you <laughs> both need to communicate better though. Like, I feel like a lot of this is just like yeah, hiding stuff and that like, was mature of you. En- Thanks, bro. Like, if you're tight enough to um fucking like if you're angry enough that you're like trying to dance with your ex. Just to like uh, right. sort of get her back. Just tell her, bro. This was clearly a revenge did. dancing. Yeah, this is, that's like, what yeah. this was. Yeah, bro. Come on. Could you imagine too if he like threw like uh I don't know like a fifty to the DJ and said uh, play uh, "Perfect" by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, and then they dance because yeah. that song. Uh-huh. I tell you, that song gets hot. That song you're gonna get right. Or or it's romantic. Like, she said, "I can have one song." I want in a Ghana da Vida, uh, <laughs> the full the full seventeen minute version yes. with the, the old organ solo and everything. So <laughs> the whole the whole twenty minute prog rock yeah. song. Uh, I, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Russia's nineteen twelve or whatever yeah. that or, or, or twenty one twelve. Get that one. That whole that whole uh, uh, twenty one minute song. That right. whole thing. We're gonna grind to this. <laughs> Why are you grinding on your ex? Just to- one song <laughs> with my ex, baby. It's okay. <laughs> Who's this guy singing about Lord of the Rings for 21 minutes <laughs> with fucking 18 minute long drum solos? This yeah, is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you grinding your ex? To this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm ready for the next one, but does anyone have anything else to say? You both suck. The... Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for writing, though. We, we love you. Yes. You suck. We love yes. you. Also, the last people, same. Thank you. You kind of suck. <laughs> yes. I feel bad for We're you. judging you. And your girlfriend and your ex and your futures. Uh, I feel bad for everyone around this guy. Uh, let's take our next question from the Wild Animals on Reddit. If you guys got questions to write in, write them to twistedkeepapodcast.gmail.com or even better, write them right there in the chat. Live every single Thursday, uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Before I read the next one, Natalie just said, I love how obsessed Harrison is with Ed Sharon. <laughs> 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 I played it. That song came up yesterday. I was like, this song's beautiful. Did you start crying? <laughs> Did you have an emotional day? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, oh, I think I heard it at a wedding once. And I was like, this is me. You know, every relationship really needs a song. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this song will save marriages, maybe. I yeah. don't know. I'll take this tomorrow. Ours <laughs> is the song Black Betty by Ram Jam. Uh, <laughs> long story with that one, but that's our song. <laughs> I don't know words. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the words, but yeah, <laughs> it's it's pretty much just a chorus over and over again. Yeah. There's not a lot to that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really not. It's yeah. beautiful. It's good. It's yeah, good. I've cried yeah. to it. So that one it's too. great. I've cried to it. I've came to it. Has Ed Sheeran right. covered it? Is that uh, would he be should. the best. That'd be the best version. 
<laughs> Dear Ed Sheeran, <laughs> cover Ram Jam from the 70s. We think we cover got the song some. Black Betty by Ram Jam. Yeah. Oh, Black Betty. That's right. Good. All right. So next question is pretty short. I mean, I don't. Uh, it's just short. Um, I got turned off once I saw her Instagram. Dun dun dun. Mm. I went on a date it's, with a girl, mm. and things moved very. Capital V, capital E, cap, capital R, capital Y, quickly. Mm, I so even good. told her at the end of our three-hour, 3 a.m. conversation, I'm going to make you my girlfriend, parentheses, partially joking. I recognized I should not have moved that fast. After the night ended, we connected on Instagram, and, well, her post completely turned me off. There's multiple bathing suit pictures. There's a picture of her smoking a cigarette. Pictures with her pro- in a provocative poses, Playboy bunny outfits mirroring pictures. All, all of this completely changed my view on the girl. This guy hates smoking. <laughs> hey, that, that's all I took from that. He hates smoking. And good looking women in bathing suits. He smoke. He's like, fuck. Eh. <laughs> what? Gross. Oh, bathing suit. She swims and athletic. Eh. And he Hot said, naked <laughs> women. Ew, disgusting. <laughs> that's not for me. Yeah. What should I do? Should I try to see her again? Or should I tell her I was wrong for thinking this was what I wanted? And then he actually wrote it a little bit of an update slash edit, because you can do that. And he said, to the people in the comments who are upset for me with, for having preferences, I am not sorry. To those giving sound advice, thank you. I just thought that was a douchey <laughs> thing. So. Felt like that was a dig at us personally. Yeah, yeah right? Like dude, yeah, like, he, he got on us before we even said anything. <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you got something against podcasts that answer I Reddit expected questions? this from the last question guy, <laughs> but not from you. From you, yeah. I thought we were cool. I just, I just feel like he doesn't like any girls at all. I feel like that's half the girls in their 20s, like profiles, like bathing suits, fun out, going out with your friends, smoking and drinking, right. and just like a Playboy bunny yeah, outfit. Like, how, Is this I understand him you, finding that unsettling. Like, I understand being okay with that, but it's like, you know, if he's the kind of person who's like telling girls like, oh, I want to like make you my girlfriend, then clearly he's looking for something like sure. serious and, you know, traditional. It's like a lame old and school so dude. That, sure. Yeah. And so that rubs him the wrong way. But that said, if you're going to be like, yo, I'm going to make you my girlfriend and you're that kind of guy, check her Instagram before <laughs> right, you tell her yeah. that. Like, I feel like you were, you were putting a lot of commitment for somebody you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Who also goes Last... on a date without checking their Instagram first? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Nowadays. Right. If, if he's that picky. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up when like w- we had dial up in the internet and I still would check out people's profile before I even just like had a conversation mm. just meeting with them, you know, wow. if I could. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I never, I never did back when I was single, but I wasn't that picky <laughs> either. Anything short <laughs> of a lady standing there. By the way, as you guys are saying this, is I'm starting to realize why I'm single. I should maybe <laughs> look at my Instagram and be like, why do the dates never show up? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you haven't even met me yet. You were yeah, getting catfished the whole time ah, and you didn't even realize. No, nah, they're probably going through my Instagram and going, who's this guy that makes his fucking friends act like characters? You know, <laughs> why is this psycho? He's torturing these people. Is that baby Hitler? No way. <laughs> right? So no I'm way, like, dude. Right? This guy, You're like, no, I would... this guy has made his friends say he's Putin. Why would he do that to his friends? <laughs> no, he's, literally. He's baby Hitler me. and grown Putin? This yeah, is crazy. I know. This guy, I don't know I should go on a first date. No, but I I never, I never want to get Instagram, ice cream with them, right? It, it, yeah, I mean, anything short of a lady, like you know, dressed in a in, in, like uh, jihad Johnny holding ah. a, a fucking severed head of a journalist. I wasn't gonna, you know what I mean? Like it would have to be some really crazy shit on an Instagram for me to be like, this is too much, you know? Like I can't believe this guy's this prude. I mean, I guess if like sometimes if you look at like I don't, yeah, maybe I don't like smokers either. That is a good point. Uh. But right. wouldn't you notice it on the date, though? I, You know what is funny? I, last week, they released a picture of Jack Nicholson swimming while smoking, and I thought that yeah. was pretty cool. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, you saw that? I was like, fucking dope. So the fact yeah. that this what girl if, was like in a bathing suit and smoking. You know, what if you find out that she's awesome. like a swimsuit model, and then that was actually, the cigarette was actually like a 
uh, I don't know, a Vogue Rob magazine or thing. Yeah. Or, yeah Maybe prop. she was hired by Cool. You, know, you, know, you know what's sort of funny, too, is like, because uh, like Instagram's a big thing now, and I sometimes I feel a little insecure with Instagram because I have like sure. fucking 4,000 followers, and then I'll like maybe see a girl who has like 23,000, and I'm like, I hope she likes me, even though I'm not popular. <laughs> 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 I hope, like, who's going to look at a guy with 4,000 followers and think he, he, he could take care of me? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram's the devil. <laughs> right, yeah. This guy didn't even mention how many followers she had. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I could have. I would. I would have. That maybe I would have checked that and been like, "Oh fuck, you're not damn." I don't know if I should talk to you. I only have like 900 followers. <laughs> when you said 4,000, you're trying like, to do a bracket? podcast with her and just yeah. 900 followers. You could have done a podcast with up. me. It's, yeah. Fucking yeah. bullshit that this even exists, dude. I'm here. God you have no damn idea. it. Well, I've got God, like 300. What is that? 300? I'm on a podcast with this few podcasts. Yeah. I'm better yeah. than all of you. Why to, am I to here? To be fair. I am fair. carrying this fucking show. This She's only ridiculous. got 900 followers, but she does have bathing suit pictures of her smoking, and I like that kind of thing in an Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I like that kind of thing in an Instagram. <laughs> Dude, this, this guy wrote this question. I pictured him, once he got on the Instagram thing, I pictured the thing being read in Hank Hill's voice. <laughs> this this felt like a young Hank Hill. She had bathing suit pictures, and she was smoking no, no. cigarettes. This is shocking me, because I feel like I was I was like, oh, this guy's obviously a douchebag, but I feel like you guys are kind of like on his side. Like, oh yeah, he should have just picked it, looked at the Instagram pictures. The no, I think he's a douchebag. I thought you started with that. No. I thought you told me you, should, you always check people's Instagram. Well, no, and but whatnot. I'm just saying. I I I feel like I don't know. It, I thought we went off what I, you said. I, well, no, you I mean, check a, you check a profile. It's like you met someone in life, you liked them in person, but now you're checking like. Instagram that's kind of like a fake kind of you know thing of their life sure. and now you're like siding with Instagram I don't know I'm just like no, that's I'm so I'm, weird to I, me. I kind of did but I'm saying if he's gonna but be that Instagram prude about th- shit then he should check everything first you know yes. oh that's true that's if he's if he's really that uptight about things because let's face it in 2024 a uh, 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 lady who's especially a little bit younger Having bathing suits on your Instagram, that's not fucking crazy. It's not just porn stars that have Instagram photos of them in a bathing suit. It's damn near every woman I know who's on Instagram. But, like, just as a side, we are we are missing, like, the big thing. I love that we focused on all this stuff, but I thought the big thing was that he told her he loved her within three hours. Wait, he I told thought... her he loved her? No, he, said... he wanted to be my girlfriend. That's, oh, that's wow. still Sorry. a bit much. That's still a bit much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I want to be a that's girlfriend. He wanted okay. to be my girlfriend. So that's within three hours. That's the actual big thing of all of that. I love that we negated all of that for this long. It, it like, is a I thought that was coming up soon, hours. but after anyways. three hours, it's a weird thing to say, right? For sure, you're like, it's yeah, a weird thing to talk. Say. We haven't met. Uh, yeah. We were totally. We I don't even in. know if you're a fucking of the gender you say you are, but well, you know and, what? And the guy who's going to say that, I want three you to be hours, my girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. The guy who's going to do that—that that tends to be a throw caution to the wind kind of guy. Right. That's not the same dude who's also like she's in her bathing suit smoking a cigarette. Ugh. Like those are two very different guys. This girl doesn't wear mumus. Right. Right. right, like, like he's we, looking at these freaking. He said in parentheses, partially joking. What do you mean? Partially? Yeah, but what oh. does that mean? No. When, when, he, when he said it, who knows that they're partially joking if you don't know the person and you're typing? There's no intonation of uh, your voice or sarcasm or whatever. Did so they, to him, I thought they were. Ta- they actually went on a physical date together. Am I they? think they did. Yeah, they went on one date. Wait, did I get see. this wrong? Let he me went, see. They went on one date. I went on a date then, with yeah, a girl, yeah. and things were moving very <laughs> oh, quickly. Oh, you did go on a yeah. date. He went Fuck. on one date, and then and then checked the Instagram. And I after even the told day, her right? at the end of our three hour, three a.m. conversation that I'm going to make her my girlfriend. Parentheses, oh, partially shit. joking. I got that wrong. I recognize I should not have moved that fast after the end of the night. Blah blah blah. But even even though saying even saying partially joking. That's still a little bit mean, like, hey, I, things are going good. You well, know what I'm I mean? Sorry, well, if you had a, you know. that long of a date and she didn't light up a cigarette once, she yeah. doesn't have that big of a problem. No, like, that's <laughs> a good yeah. point. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you, how addicted is she? The fact that he didn't see it on the I, I'd love him to take that back, though, to just yeah. be sitting there. It's like, I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> you know, like when you throw that in, like why say it to begin with? Like if you're joking, you're like you can't even. It doesn't even look good if you didn't mean it. So why right, would right. you even say it? Right, right. Like for words like that, women take that shit seriously. Yeah. So I don't fuck around. Right. No. Those are like sort of easy. Those are soft words, man. Those are those get to the heart. Right. They do. They do. 
I went out for a date with a girl once and told her I loved her, so I already know that fucking shit. Wait, that, you did? Go. Yeah. Wow. Wait, oh. how did that go? How'd that go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Let me tell you. Probably well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I was like, she's like, absolutely. And I was like, why did I say that? Like, how? I meant, because I meant, like, I love you. You're great. Like, oh, that type fuck. of thing. And, okay. So. How you, old were you when this happened? Yeah. Oh my God. Were, you, were you wasted were you, or something? Yeah. So this was like. <laughs> were you in your 20s? Like teenage years? Yeah, it would have been 20s, unfortunately. 24, I want to guess. Oh, buddy. No, a little later even, oddly. Oh. Well, you know what's uh, sort of weird about that is, uh, <laughs> okay, so so it was just like a girl I had known um, in high school. And then we were just hanging out in, uh, like, back home in Saskatoon. I told her, oh, yeah, I love you. Because she said something funny. It made me laugh. And then she turned around, got stupid serious, and went, I've loved you since the moment, whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, she got oh. even creepier. Oh, I fuck. Wow. She went yeah, crazy. Yeah, so now I know. You don't say that shit fucking no. half bad. So you said something crazy to her, and she was on it with something it completely was, unhinged. It wasn't my intonation. I was wow. sort of joking. Yeah, that must have uh, <laughs> made oh, you feel like wait, horrible. Wait, so what? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like trash, but so I mean, I, I panicked. I, I talk about flustered. That's how you use that word. Fl- yeah. Whoa, holy shit. She so, pulls out a laminated piece of hair that she got off of you uh, like three oh, years yeah. ago in the 10th grade or whatever. Hey. Yeah. Did you guys date seriously after that at all? No, I was just becoming a comedian. Not. I left. All right. <laughs> I wasn't around. <laughs> You're like, sorry, I got road work. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even live there. I, I didn't even live there. It didn't make sense, right? I, uh, I, yeah. I, I, I meant, uh, I meant what I said when I loved you, but I, uh, I'm in Edmonton next week, so I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I got, uh, I got, I got a gig. I, uh, Funny. There's love, and then there's, and then there's, and then there's road work. So <laughs> I, uh, I gotta go. I, gotta I mean, I love you, road. but I'm married to road work. So <laughs> <laughs> later. You don't know this joke. Come on, yeah. the road work joke. Right? That's what I just did. The road work yeah. bit. I do this all yeah. the time. The road work. So material. unless you want to like come with me to Toronto, yeah. and then she's like, I'll come with you to Toronto, and you're just like, actually, no. I, I just I met this guy, you. and he knew I went to Toronto. I like this guy. So this guy work, is good for you. I work with a lot. I didn't of, even tell you that. And you, did, you knew. I work with a lot of young twenty-year-olds in the because uh, I'm a hostess at a restaurant, and I work with a lot of young twenty-year-olds, and they tell me multiple times where they'll go on like a Tinder date or something they'll meet someone and the guy will be like oh i only want to date you i'm going to delete my profile with on like the first date and i always think that's weird too like when you're just like oh i think you're great i'm only going to try and date you now like yeah. i think that's too fast yeah, it's too. too committal yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, i don't know right. so you're I, not, yeah especially the first few dates you're not even really uh, having dinner with a person, you're having dinner with a Tinder profile. Like that, this is just a yeah. web of lies they've and constructed your, to and try your, to mm-hmm. attract you. you and know? your oh, fantasy of what that shit. Tinder we'll profile is, no, but- right? Like it's just like you're just <laughs> right on right. your first date. It's just like your idealized picture of this person. And no, right. Like, but I said yeah. it last week. I think um, I feel like the you're first just setting year setting yourself up to be disappointed at that. Point. The first year that you're kind of dating someone, it, especially if it's getting serious, you're still like giving them the facade of who who they think you are. Right, like, they for don't a while. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they, don't, they don't know who you are, you mm-hmm. know? And right. It's like, I don't know. Jake thought I was a very clean person. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, My wife genuinely thought that I, I loved giving foot massages for the first <laughs> six months we dated. No. No. No one likes giving foot massages. Yeah, you have no. creepy foot fetish guys and then guys that are lying. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Very... Those are the two types oh, on that. Oh, God. I don't That's know. Hilarious. Wait, hold on. Um, someone wrote something. I can't see. Can you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joanne says, uh, tell her, Joanne on YouTube says, tell her to pick one. Bathing suits or cigarettes, make it a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, uh, my let's gosh. see. Uh, uh, La- last, last week, I don't know what that means. I forget. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe Harrison said that about to, when we were asking Harrison how long ago was this. <laughs> she, oh, she like, last, last week. week yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, to uh, back this guy up a little bit, to yeah. um, make him look somewhat good, it's sure. like... Did you write the question? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like... I get where he's coming from, like, because it's, like, in this day and age, it's, like, pretty normal for, like, a girl to, like, post a bathing suit. Yeah, absolutely. And whatever. Yeah. But, like, some people just aren't down with that. But if you're not down with that, you have to understand that, like, in this day and age, it's pretty common. So you got to just, like... You got to do the research. You got to do the research and, like, 
understand that you have to be like really selective if you're not looking for something like that because exactly most yeah. girls are like posting stuff like that nowadays yeah man if you're gonna be that prude about stuff <laughs> i mean you gotta go to the dating apps for amish people or, or, or whatever your deal is you know amish people are not prudes <laughs> that's right in fact if this guy's amish he shouldn't be looking at instagram anyway so i'm gonna snitch on him to his village elders or whoever <laughs> runs the show there you know uh all right. I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, were we attacking the Amish and I missed it? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Fuck. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Good waiting hey, important while he's in the restroom. All you Amish out there, you ain't supposed to be watching YouTube either. Yeah. So, fuck <laughs> you. You're so cool. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I'll talk all the shit about you you want. I want. What are you going to come forward and admit that you've been, uh, 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 breaking your your Amish law, you'll you'll be excommunicated for yeah, watching. Bro, you want to get seen shunned? I've this man yeah. fight many an Amish guy. You do not That's fuck right. with this guy. Uh-huh. Right? He is like an Amish barbarian. That's right. Jake will kill them all. I'll, I like to I like to twist their beard up in my hand and then yeah. punch them with their own yeah, beard. That's right. Yeah. That's Jake's That's hobby. Right. Don't you dare, right? I bully the Amish <laughs> with their stupid horse and buggies. Of course, because we have TV. Yeah. Ah, yeah you know, we're better, better, bro. We're, yeah. we're, we're just better. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we'll... End. I slap them with electrical cords. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, like that. that's I guess, slapped with sins, I guess we'll sir. have a podcast on that. Beating up the Amish. Why not? We're ending Absolutely. a podcast? Oh, wow. I What's up? I could have held my, the bathroom break until oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, gonna, the, uh, I'm just going to leave for the, the last hour flies seven by. minutes. The hour flies. Oh, all right. Yes. Uh, this has been an awesome podcast. Thank you so <laughs> much to show all the listeners. For the goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if I if I had to take a number two, I wouldn't have even made it to the end. That's true. I'd have been true. gone. It would have been weird. The dog, right? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Thanks for but having me, this guys. Is, this this has way. been an awesome oh, podcast. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much to Abiola. Thank you to Michael. Thank you oh, to the listeners. Oh, go on my YouTube. Yes. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe to Watch my first Instagram because apparently, you know, I'm sensitive to followers now. So jack me up. Up of yeah. Michael Harrison and comedian uh, on Instagram followers. Try to get him enough followers that he could bang a lady with twenty thousand followers. <laughs> yeah. I don't I'm have confidence around himself. ladies with more than twenty thousand followers. Also, <laughs> please help me. Yeah, Abiola. go on my gotta... Instagram, Shot of Ranch. Follow me so I can like you know be on more podcasts with yeah. him. And he won't be Aww. me. He's, no, not like that. It's just a callback to. Let's get both mean. of these guys balls deep in blue check mark women. Yeah. That's right. I did. Let's go. Yes, yes. This has been an awesome episode. Thank you to the listeners, most of all, especially the people in the chat. Thank you to Natalie on YouTube. Thank you to Joel on YouTube. Thank you to Joanne on YouTube. Uh, Until next week, we're live every single Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Write us your questions at twistedcubicpodcast at gmail.com. Give them live right in the chat. Are you guys flustered? Yeah, I know. I was was Can you say this faster? Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) Uh, I was slightly flustered there. What I was trying to say <laughs> was give us your comments, give us your questions <laughs> live right there in the chat. Every single Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Less Eastern. boner, please. Until, yes, boner, boner, boner. Less boner, please. Less, less boner. Yes, come on, yes, Jake. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have a massive erection that I have to go deal with right now. <laughs> Until next week. Later.